So the next nakshatra is called Vishaka, and it's from 20 degrees of Libra until 3 degrees and 19 minutes of Scorpio. This is where Libra becomes Scorpio, and it's where it's pretty intense nakshatra because it's where Saturn is exalted at the very first degrees, and the moon is debilitated. So it's where Libra becomes Scorpio, where our relations with others, for instance, which is Libra, becomes um, you know, painful and brings a lot of insecurities and stress and fear, which is Scorpio. So this is a nakshatra that kind of bridges those two things. It starts in Libra, and the gods are Indra and Agni. And Indra is the god of lightning, and the god of the sky, and Agni is the god of fire. So like fire and lightning are two of the important metaphors for this section of the sky. And, um, you know, these are the two big mighty deities in the Rig Veda and in the early Vedas. Um, Indra was the hero, he was the king of the gods, and he was the one who slain the dragon who stole all the water from the earth. I'll talk more about Indra when I get to Jeshta Nakshatra. But, um, so Indra is uh, the king of the gods related to the sky, related to lightning, related to f that kind of force. And Agni is the god of fire, who is the one who purifies our intention. And, you know, when we do ceremonies and pujas and whatnot, it's, it's the god Agni who um, takes our oblations and our offerings up to heaven. Similarly, when we eat food, and it, it gets digested, it goes into our mind. So these two deities together rule Vishaka. And again, it's where the air of Libra becomes the need to strengthen our emotional will in Scorpio. And um, so this is... You know, Vishaka literally means forked branch. It's, it's related to a triumphal archway, so it's a very motivated, ambitious nakshatra. Um, it often has a lot to do with justice and social righteousness and social causes and social justice. And um, there could be a lot of intensity here, especially to do the right thing and a lot of righteous principle here because of these two deities. Um, and it's related to Jupiter in the um, Vimshotri Dasha scheme. And so, um, this, again, it's where Saturn is exalted and where the moon is debilitated. And so, Saturn is exalted, you know, highly exalted, his last exaltation degree in Vishaka, I should say. Because once Saturn hits 20, then he's exalted, but then past that he's not. But it's the exact exaltation degree of Saturn. Saturn's deepest exaltation actually happens as he's going through Swati. And this is why we say the Hanuman Chaliza in that section of the sky, because Hanuman is the deity related to Vayu that I just talked about in, in Swati Nakshatra. That's where Saturn is the most exalted in the Nakshatra ruled by Hanuman, or Vayu, who is the father of Hanuman. So there's an astrological symbol there, but the exaltation degree of Saturn is the first degree of Vishaka, which shows that kind of mighty forbearance and, um, you know, determination to figure things out and to get to the truth and to be ambitious and motivated to bring righteousness um, and to clarify um, important issues and causes. So again, it spills over into Scorpio where that energy is not so easy on the moon because the moon is where we want to be comfortable and, and you know, feel whole. And Vishaka is about, I don't care if I'm comfortable or not, we need to do this work, this hard work, this righteous cause is important. Indra and Agni, the big kind of, you know, tough guys in the Vedas. So Vishaka from Libra to Scorpio, where we connect that realm of air and ideas with culture and righteous purpose and righteous cause in order to bring about strength and inner power, which has to do with Scorpio. Thank you.